What's up, everybody? Um, just wanted to make a, a quick little video. Actually, it's probably not even going to be quick. I'm probably going to end up going on a rant. But um, I feel like from my experiences last night, I have a good message that I want to put out. And um, I recorded some videos right before this one. But I just want to make a little bit of a better one for the pub to put out in the public space. That where I don't seem as aggressive or like I'm in a fury. Um, just to preface everything. Um, when it comes to astral projection and all this stuff and people saying it's not real and stuff. You know, in, in their own beliefs, however they want to think about it, they're right. But what is real is that we have our souls and our bodies and our spirits and they're all separate that work together so it's all more about how you want to identify with with what you are so if you want this to be your main place because this is where we're living earth 2023 you know that that's our main place we're living here together there's other civilizations that lived in different times and wake up in different places all across the universe um but at the end of the day we're waking up in tw Earth, 2023, right? England, America, Canada, all the countries, everything across the world. We're, we're on this plane together, this timeline. But in the grand scheme of things, there's like a, a timeline where everything already happened. Everything already played out. Um, and when it comes to astral projection... And becoming lucid in your dreams and doing conscious transitions and things like that. All you're doing is getting more in tune with your story and the story of the of the close ones that you surround yourself with. That's all it's about. It's an ability. It's a psychic ability. It's a something, it's a tool for you to use at your will if you want to. If you feel like you're up for it. But People on Earth right now, a lot of them don't get that. That it's a way to unlock more memories and remember things and work on your past and work on your future. So when I sit here and talk about my experiences, the order is all over the place. What I experienced one night might not happen for somebody until 20 days from now. What I experienced... Uh, what I'm going to experience might have already happened for a lot of people. Some of the people um, experience things in an ascending order. Some people experience things in a descending order. Talking about the end times versus the beginning times. There's souls that have already seen the beginning times. There's souls that have already seen the end times. But... These are just times and places and existences. We are the real immortals because we are our souls. And there's already other immortals that exist. Right? So everybody has this ability to unlock that side of them. Religions know. Um, and they feel like they need to devote themselves and their lives to a greater power and things like that. And that's cool. No, no one's knocking people for wanting to do that. Um, but that's more what it's about for me. Um, hopefully to try and clear the air for everything. I'm not saying that like it's the end all be all. This is what feeds my soul right now. And everybody else has their own things that feeds their soul. But it's very important for right now for people to mind their own business. I'm not joking. Um... You get too caught up in someone else's story, you start losing bits of your own. And that's just facts. So, what I'm doing is, I got a book, right? Everybody has a book. Everybody has pages within their book with stories. And you're allowed to create. You're allowed to go to old pages and new pages. Um, last night, I had a lot of personal experiences where... I was going to new pages, experiencing new things for the first time, and going to old pages, re-experiencing things, but in a different way. 
so I got lucid for a lot of the night. And these personal experiences, um, I can, I'm, I'm going to go into them like real quick at the end of the video. But right now, I want to just talk about what I think the whole message of the night gave me. And what that is, is I think we're being, again, topic, I know, deceivers. But before I start talking about the negatives and all that stuff, um, I get it. We're all living here together right now every day just to get by. And we're all just trying to keep moving forward, not get too caught up in the past and things like that. I get it. And I'm, I'm on board with everybody. I am. I promise. I'm here to help. But when I see things that upset me, I want to expose it. I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So there's things that ruffle my feathers in real life. And I'm going to have to just keep working on it. Not to let it bother me. I know th some things are dead and gone. Some things are dead and not gone. Some things are trying to be buried by the past that shouldn't be buried. And a lot of things are going to happen and to come. Um, I know I don't have to worry because my loved ones, the people I care about are alive and well. Even if we die, we're good. Even if I, sorry, I don't want to speak for anybody right now. Even if I pass, I don't want to pass this early because I feel like I have more work to do here. But if I pass, I'll be okay. Accept my death and move on to the next chapter in my life. Or visit old chapters in my life. I'm going to have the tools to do what I want to do. Um, and I'm going to have strong beings around me to help me if I need the advice or things like that. So that's kind of where I'm at. And also, that's what I think some people might be lacking. Um, just knowing that even if you see or experiencing a death doesn't mean the end of your existence. Um, but there's things happening that is just not okay. Premature deaths, murders... Um, Cover-ups, stings, people being set up. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, and it's, it's kind of scary. Like, for the people that aren't involved and don't know about this stuff, you'll be really surprised what happens behind the curtain and behind closed doors. But um, what I want to expose, and like I said, the message of the whole night is mostly just these deceivers, they're really good because they've already lived lives on earth that they know about and they have unlocked like almost their whole memories about a life that they already lived on earth. So they're, they're cool. They know like the process of dying, rebirthing and stuff like that. And they're trying to set up something for the future to make themselves look like ultimate gods. And they're trying to hold certain beings down from never attaining that status that they feel they obtained within themselves. And they're very judgmental. Uh, they call themselves whatever they need to call themselves. Um, but they're legit. They're legit immortals. And I pay respect to them just for existing. I see their light and I acknowledge their light. Um, they see my light and they acknowledge my light. But some of them are in bed with some serious, serious deceivers. And they don't even know it. And it's not their fault because it's probably someone they've loved from their past. That's hiding things from them. That loves them and takes care of them. But doesn't love and take care of other people. So a lot of picking and choosing about who to be nice to. And who to be one with. And who people think they belong with but the truth is there's some of them are stopping other people from interacting with souls they're supposed to be interacting with during very very meaningful times of their life so what i got from last night 
something very personal for my own personal story and for people I love that I know the truth about. And what the message is, some deceivers are trying to trick people into thinking they one of their main vessels didn't die, right? So example, all right? Say I'm in my soul form watching a memory of my own death. So let's say whenever whenever that happens. And I know I'm sorry the topic is grim. Not everybody likes to talk about this, but I feel like I need to put this video out today. So I'm in my soul form and I see a memory of you know maybe this vessel dying or something like that. That should trigger like I know, okay, I've died in the past and okay, I'm still here. I might be upset about it and feel off about it, which I should if it was a premature or like a murder or something that was wrong. Of course I'm gonna feel a way about it. But at the end of the day, I'm still there existing. So it's more about the people around you, how they make you feel about that. They can guilt me into thinking, oh, look how stupid you are. You died and you think you're still alive. Or you can have your own personal beliefs about all what that all means. Or they'll make you feel bad about it. Like you don't even know your own death and all this stuff. Whatever. None of that matters because uh, what matters is if you know how to attain um, your own like fulfilled soul and self because all this death stuff is a very grand illusion um, and a lot of things that are happening on earth 23, 2023 are a grand illusion as well so just be careful who you surround yourself with um, they might know more than they're telling you and in terms of family and friends and stuff like that, I get it. Nobody wants to even talk or think about this stuff yet. And everybody has their own beliefs and stuff. I feel like I'm putting this information out for a minority of souls right now. And the mass amounts that see the video might not relate or want to relate or even think in these lines. But one day they might. One day maybe they don't. But cool. If it's not for you... Just go away. I won't bother you. Or if you don't like me, you don't want to see me, you don't want me to come find you or interact with you, fine. Let me know. Steve, I don't like you. Just leave me alone. I'll be like, um, okay. And I'll just leave you alone. There doesn't have to be this whole putting souls to sleep stuff like that. I'm not trying to ruin anybody's grand plans I got my own life and my own decisions and feelings and people I love do too. So at the end of the day, mind your own business because you get caught up in other places, you're going to lose yourself a little bit and you're going to have to do groundwork to get back there. If you want to do that, cool. I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just saying around me, some things that set me off is people... Constantly disrespecting me and not minding their own business. Thinking they know stuff about me when they really don't. Thinking they know about my past and they don't. Now, in terms of the actual story, I'm leaving names and faces out of it. Um, but there was a conscious transition last night. Had people observing, messing with it, trying to make me look stupid. I still achieved what I needed to in that moment. They were trying to make me look really, really bad and gay again. They probably succeed in, in some sort of illusion. I don't really care who watches that stuff um, or who they're showing it to. But the truth is, I succeeded in a conscious transition and reconnecting with some very missing... For big missing fragments of a, of a soul that we're working on putting fully back together. So cool. Plus one for me, plus one for the deceivers. They get to show illusions and make me look stupid again, whatever, moving on. Had some really good lucidity 
um, some more experiences where I wanted to find someone very close to me that I love very much. And that same person, later in the night, I saw a very disturbing scene, re-saw a scene um, of them. Um, and they... I have to get into a whole different topic and story if I want to explain this part well. So I'm keeping this part minimal details because it's very personal and close to me. They tried to confuse him into thinking something that that didn't happen. So this is what set me off for the whole night seeing that. And I don't think I need to meditate on it more. I'm not probably going to put this out into public, but I'm going to talk to that person in real life about what I saw and everything. So, he's fine. I know he's fine, and he'll be fine. It's me. I need to cope with what I saw happen to him. Because I my beliefs are different, and that's it. Basically... What's happening to me right now? Um, they're trying to bury things from the past that shouldn't be buried. And they're trying to make it so that I just move on and don't worry about it and just live and be happy about it. But I'm not happy about it. And I probably never will be happy about it because it was just straight up wrong what happened and what I saw. And I'm not... I'm not joking. I'm... I'm this is like, I'm pretty sure the reason I'm here. The reason I'm born into the family I'm born into. And the reason I live is for this other soul. And my soul. And other souls. So, it's, it's, it's going to get exposed eventually, the details. And a lot of people already know about it, I think. And maybe they're just trying to help me catch up. But... I have my own beliefs and my own mind. Um, and it's not fair for other people to tell me how to live my life and tell me things I should forget or just move on and don't worry or let it go and stuff like that. Because the people that are involved and do care the most, it's almost the only thing we care about now. So this is getting to the point that we're maintaining Earth 23. 2023 for the kids' sake to try and withhold their pure souls. We have to do this for the kids. Everybody knows what's going on for the most part, it seems like. But we have to do this for the kids. Keep this world going as stable as possible for everybody, but especially the kids. Everybody else that has their own beef, you know, We'll all be able to have resolutions if we want to or not. People who want to move on, they can move on. I'm getting preachy, so I'll probably cut, cut this video off. Um, but I had more good experiences. I'm on a good path right now to maintain solid relationships with my family. Um, you know, doing what I need to do to uphold those. And I'm staying sober again. I'm ready to get back into my my practices because that's what I've been about for 10 years. You know, trying not to lust as much, um, which comes with no masturbation. I don't like to do that. It doesn't make me feel good anymore. Um, if I interact... Intimately, it's going to be with a woman that I made a solid connection with. That's my goal. If I have slips, it's okay. Um, meditating before bed, throughout the day if I need to. I usually stay up for most of the day and I meditate before I sleep. Get some sleep. Try to meditate more and just be as lucid possible in my experiences. Trying to do reality checks and be lucid during the day. So that when I lay down, I'm in a better place to get lucid when I'm waking up in my dreams um, and going for conscious transitions. Making sure I'm well rested, but making sure I got my eye on the prize and my 
my arrow on the target. So that's kind of what I'm about, and I'm still about that. And I enjoy helping people, I do, but sometimes it gets overwhelming for me in real life. Um, I feel almost constantly disrespected sometimes, um, and I can put it off for a while, but when it's a constant thing, it's just not right, and it sends me into a little bit of a fury. So I need to work on that. I'm going to work on that. I don't need to be angry, but there is things that make me angry. So I just need to just need to do some more inner work. Um, and there's always going to be some inner work to do. Not to be so emotional and react on those emotions and stuff. Um, I feel really well supported. I do. I know people want to see me do well, but it's tough because I don't want to be this perfect picture that people want me to be or I don't need to be that obviously but um, I'm not striving to be something perfect for the world or an illusion for the world I just want to be me as I am and feel as I do so still on my path and I'm going to make sure I have a very meaningful talk with one of my loved ones about what happened and just get his opinion on it and how he feels about it. Um, no point in putting the details of what I saw out in public. But I will say this whole grand scheme that's being built to hide certain truths from certain individuals. Um, I'll be honest, I know everything. Um, not every single little detail about how... I don't care how they pull things off sometimes, but I know what they pulled off and how many illusions they were able to create for many people. Last thing I want to say, again, reiterate, death is an illusion. Um, some of these beings know the cycle very well, and they're messing with other people's death cycles and rebirth cycles, um, and it's unacceptable. So, And they've been doing it for a very long time. Um, this is the reason I'm here. Um, always willing to talk to anybody. You can come knock on my door if you want to have a real conversation in real life. And I'm here. I'm here to help even if it seems like I'm, I'm hurting everybody. I'm, here, I'm actually just here to help and speak truth. And I'm not afraid to speak out on anything. Um, except... These details I need to meditate on before I put them out. Not sure if it's a good just to throw it out on YouTube and be like, hey, this is what I saw. Stay down. And that's that's where, where I'll leave it. And I hope everybody has a good day. Um, and I'll be honest. I can get by. But... Some things are really not sitting right with me still. So I'm going to keep keep meditating and keep staying as calm as possible. So thanks for listening if you did. I know this stuff finds the right people. And I, I think that's pretty much all I want to do for this video. So take care.